What's up, guys? This is Merc Music, and welcome to Black Ops 1, 12 years later. Black Ops 1 is all this Brayden. Gotta slouch the disc in. If you guys are excited to see some Black Ops 1 today, make sure to drop a like. Let's see if we can break 10,000 likes for some more throwback Call of Duty stuff. I wouldn't say I'm dying to play Black Ops 1 today, but it's gonna be pretty nice. You know, I just played Cold War. I threw up multiple times after making that video, so we're back on the OG, you know? This is where Black Ops started, stuck in this chair. Get me out. This is, oh my god, it's still the best. I think I did this the last time I <laughs> made a video. <laughs> I just love that. Little Easter eggs and stuff. You got the numbers floating around. You can hack into Vonderhaar's computer, find all of his secret files. Let's see what happens if we type in Vonderhaar. What will happen? Type in Vonderhaar. Unknown commands. Well then. Hey Siri, what are the Black Ops 1 computer secret commands? Know how to respond what the? Okay. Here's what I found. I found this on the web. Uh, okay, Michael. okay. That was not helpful. I think we played Zork last time. I don't think anyone is coming here to see Zork content. We're done with the computer. We're gonna sit back down, go to the main menu. Obviously gonna start with multiplayer. <laughs> Obviously, you guys know how I feel about Black Ops 1 multiplayer. It's a little bit of a rocky road. Coming from Modern Warfare 2, I didn't really like Black Ops 1's multiplayer as much. You can't beat wager matches, though. Wager matches were the best in this game, bar none. Oh my, they actually fixed the player count. I think it's around the time that they made Black Ops 1 backwards compatible on the Xbox One. It showed that there were like hundreds of thousands of people playing, but this is probably a more accurate count, roughly 3,000 people. So yeah, not too bad. It's not as dead as some of the other COD games, unless this is also just a lie. A lie is a lie. A pie is a pie. <laughs> Let's find out. Let's just go to Team Deathmatch. What do we got? Wanna blop it up? OG bloppage. Looking for zero out of a hundred. There's a hundred good games right now. I doubt it. Oh, the original G11. Spaz 12, the L96. Why do I have thermal? Ew. Oh, this is a douche class, I see. But yeah, I think I overall just didn't enjoy Black Ops 1's multiplayer as much as Modern Warfare 2 because it was really scaled back. Looking back, obviously, Modern Warfare 2 is like really over the top and honestly kind of bullshit at times. But that's also kind of what made it just dumb casual fun. And Black Ops 1 was a little bit more serious. Second Chance Pro, Ghost, oh my, all the stupid shit you can use in this game. <laughs> the Willy Beat! <laughs> I think I actually have the Willy Pete meme from Vonderhaar. That was great. No one is playing right now. I think this is exactly what happened the last time I tried to play. I actually couldn't find any multiplayer, so I just did, like, campaign. We have custom game modes from open lobbies. We have Scruggy and Mork Blorgus. I don't even know what this is. So many quad feeds. Just a, a headquarters game where I think I had, like, three or four quad feeds in one game. My recent games. There are none. Because you can't find any games, unfortunately. What I would give to be able to play another wager match on this game. There's one person playing High Roller. Not even. One person is playing any up. What are they in? Oh, they're in Gun Game. Let's see if we can find that one person. You mean to tell me that there's only one person in the world playing Gun Game? And they didn't even put me in the lobby with that dude. I'm just in my own lobby with no one else. Cool. No one's playing Weekend Gambler. No one's playing High Roller. I don't need Candy Bitch. I got a Fruit Roller. Boom, 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 boom. Roll up. You can always play against bats. I, what? It just froze for no reason. It's really strange because part of me feels like these older Call of Duty games have actually intentionally been sabotaged. Like they'd purposely try to like knock the games offline or make it nearly impossible to find matches because they want you playing the latest Call of Duty games. I don't think at this point it does any good for Activision or for Call of Duty if people keep going back and playing the older games because they're not populating the new game servers. You end up getting nostalgic, you end up reminiscing about how much better the older Call of Duty games were and then it makes you compare them to the new ones and it makes you not like the new games. So yeah, I don't know if this is just some kind of stupid conspiracy theory, but look, I, I'm just sitting here idly and it kicked me out. You must be signed in. Why would. Why am I signed out? I have done nothing. I'm just sitting here talking shit. The community stuff is so funny, but is it broken again? I did see some comments saying that the reason they deleted all of the stuff off of the file shares is because this is how people were hacking and cheating in public matches. It's definitely a bummer though. There were so many funny screenshots and clips and stuff like that. Maybe under highest rated. Oh. Real force host. You got reduce recoil. <laughs> the most epic face ever. Oh no, it died. No, that's like the best screenshot. An error occurred while opening it. I just want to watch it. Come on. I can't even do that. This one that just says hi. Nope, they're all broken. Eight bank cam spike. The file you're looking for might have been removed, modified, or is temporarily unavailable. This is what I'm talking about. Pretty sure if you ever had anything in your file share, it's just deleted or it's not gonna work. It's shit like this that makes me want these older games to either be remastered or we can get a Call of Duty collection. There were so many awesome features and things in these older Call of Duty games and it's just not working or it's gone now. It sucks! What was actually pretty dope about Black Ops 1 is the fact that it actually had good DLC maps. Like all of these maps are actually pretty good. I mean, Silo actually kind of sucks. Hazard was a golf course remake of what was it? Cliffside from World of War? <laughs> so awesome, man. Hangar was good. Driving was good, zoos, they're all good. Actual good DLC maps in a Call of Duty game. It's unheard of, but this game had it. We're gonna play it off like it's an actual real match. Okay, guys, welcome to some Nuketown free-for-all. I find the, I find the game. <laughs> it's a fucking bot lobby. There is nothing online. Oh my. Oh, the sway. 
Every time I get back on here, it's the same shit. Multiplayer doesn't work. Oh, the file share is broken. Remember Sway from quickscoping? That was bad. <laughs> I'm a broken record. Enrique Eric. Get a Blackbird. Where do you want it? Sound of the L96. It's harder to use than the intervention, but man, it smacks. The sound is beautiful. The only thing that sucked about using this online is when you get into lobbies with people using second chance. I really kind of want the bullshit perks to come back. I think it'd be funny at this point. Like, it would legitimately help new players get accustomed to Call of Duty and stuff, but it would bring back so much funny rage, dude. Like, oh my god. It's weirdly what I kind of miss in Call of Duty. Like, I, I miss getting mad at the noobs using Last Stand. Shit was hilarious. Like, you think you have them killed? <laughs> they just fall to the ground and start shooting with a pistol? What is going on? See, he's in last end. Fuck you, last end. <laughs> oh, it's over. 30 to 3, 10 KD gameplay. Like and subscribe for more. <laughs> Wait, I got COD points for that? What? I actually earned COD points? I didn't know you could do that from playing against bots. Too bad it's all for nothing. How is there not one TDM lobby in the world? Poor Black Ops 1, man. If I were to get it on PC, I think I would wait until like the Steam Summer Sale. Does it have a community hoob? Yo, there's 454 people playing. You could probably find a game on PC. I just wouldn't have anything, which would suck. It's still an option though. I mean, I can't find any multiplayer on here. It's just broken. It really does suck. I mean, I want to do more History of Call of Duty videos and get back on the multiplayers and find games. And I know, I know, I could be tweeting out when I'm getting on these games, but I'd have to tweet out like every five minutes because I only play those games for a certain amount of time before switching to the next one. The matchmaking is just straight up broken and I think they should fix it. <laughs> Professional clarinet player, by the way. Kino Der Toten. Oh my god. We got all these maps. Shangri La was my shit. I don't know. What am I gonna play though? Solo. I'm scared. Could do uh five zombies is scary. They're all scary to me. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Let's do Shangri La. Why not? Here we go. There's the little monkey. I remember the monkey. How you doing, buddy? Can you knife the gongs? I forgot. Oh yeah. All the pack-up punches up there. I completely forgot how to do the Easter egg. Oh god, do they? You can only take two hits. The old zombies is harder. I know that. Oh shit. How do you touch Nicola? I just made Nikolai took his first bath. Clean those cheeks very good. All right, we're gonna get through the death trap. Let's go. Oh. Remember all this. You have to go like a certain way. We've got Jug over here, but he needs to get the power on. Dude, visually this map looks so nice. Ah! Ah! Why am I so terrified? We're just getting started. Is the monkey? The monkey! What is the monkey doing? Fuck! Why is the monkey coming after me? Why does he do that? I forgot. You piece of sh- Why is the monkey swinging at me? Right, we're gonna leave that zombie. Let's just keep going. Got the MP5. I'm tempted. Oh god, he's up there? Jesus Christ! <laughs> like 50 Cent at the halftime show. <laughs> we need to go ahead and get this cleared, get Juggernaut as fast as possible. The laggy waterfall, dude. What is the FPS drop here? Got the MP5. Neat. Uh, we got 50 Cent back over here. <laughs> release the water here. Release the water there. Ta-da! Thousands? That was one zombie, Nikolai. I forgot where you have to go in order to actually go on like the water slide, but I want to do that. Was it over here? I think it was over here. I really need Jug first though. Oh, we got insta kill. There we go. Get that money. I need Jug. I need Jug! Oh, we got enough points for Jug. Let's get it. You need a little Jug or not? You fuck! Pretty sure I just tore something in my right butt cheek. Oh my god! I had all the points and I lost it. I'm just kill me now. I don't even want to exist anymore. I just had to get ahead of myself. Oh god, the inferno zombie. I am dead. <laughs> Stupid fucking zombie laughter at the end. I only made it five rounds. I suck. I am done. I'm going to campaign. I'm no, I'm not doing it again. <laughs> no, no, no. We're gonna do some campaign minus the pain. We're just, so we're just gonna do cam. Because the multiplayer is dead and zombies raises my blood pressure too much. I guess we could do the numbers mission. I mean, I think we did Vorkuta and possibly Victor Charlie because I had that one really funny moment in the tunnel. So yeah, I think we'll just do numbers. We'll do it on regular, not recruit. I always get shit if I play it on recruit, although it's funnier on recruit. Eat some glass, it's yummy. Boom. This is what you get for breaking the multiplayer. I'm already a dead man. This guy actually kind of sounds like Reznov. I wouldn't be surprised if Gary Oldman did the voice of this guy too. What kind of compound? Nova Six. Nova Chemical weapon. Oh, here we go, getting shot at. Ow! Now. Do a barrel roll. Oh, I remember the spet snaz that like that had that special little rolling technique. Too bad you can't actually do that in a multiplayer COD game. Wow. Do a barrel Die. roll. You you straight up can't kill him. They make them invulnerable when they're rolling like that. Just, Just like really. 
All of the plane, the music, everything is so badass in this campaign. Jump for it! Oh my god, the dolphin dive? What? I can't shoot any of you. Am I? <laughs> How to not die? This is so hilarious. That's because I accept the inevitability of my fate. Does not mean I'm in any hurry to. Definitely Gary Oldman. I just suck at everything on Black Ops 1, <laughs> except for gun game. Ah, what a checkpoint. Jesus, right into a spas 12. <laughs> the music, I don't know what it is. The beat's so funny. What a vibe. Can't stand here. Well, duh. Two more assholes below. No problem. I got him. I got him. What? What? Too close. Too close. <laughs> he says I've got him. He hasn't done anything. Wow. Useless. I told you about Nova Six. Where is their base? Nam, Klaus, Cambodia. His home turf. The Ural Mountains. Yamantau. Yamantau. Oh my God! That's the map in Cold War. Yeah, yeah, the crows. Boom. That kills every single one of them. Oh! He's still alive. What? Yo! Oh my God! What is he doing? No, you're dead. Stay dead. Hey, it's me and the beanie. Nice. Ooh. Oh. And he bled out. I can clean up my own mess. <laughs> what? This dude's insane. I don't want to die. <laughs> that Spass 12 just shot through a wall and killed me. The Spass 12 is OP in campaign, dude. The original Brecci. If you have 100 health and a Spass 12 hits you from a mile away, you probably only have one health left. There's a. You got to look out for that dude with the Spass 12. Look, he's trying to snipe me from there. You can see it. Oh, what? What? Do a barrel roll. Oh, it's the roll. <laughs> you can't shoot him when he's rolling. Physically impossible to hit a target while rolling. Oh, this is when you can get the Grim Reaper. Let's go. The aftermath of what this thing does to the soldiers is ridiculous. Like what? You only get eight shots though. Three. Fuck it. I'm trying to reload the team. <laughs> oh my God. I'm dying way more than I should today. <laughs> what? I didn't even jump. Try to dive. Oh my. <laughs> I wanted the dolphin dive across. That'd been so awesome. Here we go. Ah! 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 Oh. I'm slipping. No, no, we got a little slippy toad over here. What is he doing? Oh, that's right. Oh, no spoilers. This guy's definitely gonna live, though. Oh, <laughs> that looks so cheesy. Oh, let him go. He's dead already. Oh, hit the sign. Epic gamer dead. <laughs> All right, multiplayer. I'm giving you one more chance. I just want to play Black Ops multiplayer one more time, man. This is unfortunately kind of the sad part about going and doing these throwback videos is that sometimes you get back on these games. In this case, it's Black Ops 1 12 years later. And then you realize 12 years later, you're never going to be able to play this again. It's just not really possible. Like you can't just typically hop back on Black Ops 1 anymore and find a game. It's not a thing. And it's actually kind of sad. Oh my god. It crashes while you're just trying to look for a game. Isn't this the exact same problem that Modern Warfare 2 has? It doesn't actually properly show the player count, and when you try to matchmake too many times, it just breaks. Obviously, I'm playing on Xbox 360 right now, and I've seen some comments saying that these games are actually more alive on PS3. I've seen some comments saying, why don't you just get a PS3 and buy the games on there? You've got the money, just do it. Just because you have the money to buy it doesn't mean that you should. I mean, if I were to get those games on a PS3, I'd have to start from scratch. I wouldn't have anything. Not just for one game, but literally every single game that I never played on PS3. PS3. It's the one thing that's kind of tricky about having all these progression-based Call of Duty games is that you won't have any progress if you go to a different platform. I'm not gonna f*** with it. I do my best to try to play these games on the platform that I originally played them on because I have the most progression. I can show you guys off the most stuff. Sometimes it just doesn't work out though, and I do apologize for not having any multiplayer gameplay on Black Ops 1. I wish I could play a game, but for the time being, it just doesn't look possible. So with that being said, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me play Black Ops 1 12 years later. Multiplayer is dead on Xbox. The zombies is actually pretty hard, and campaign is just like a nostalgia blast. It's awesome. So with that being said, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did and you want to see some more throwback Call of Duty stuff, make sure to drop a like. I'll see you guys later. We are taking the lead! A bomb's been planted on our ammo supply! A bomb's been planted on our ammo supply!